hey what's going on guys today we are going to create a search logo animation inside davinci resolve i have created a similar kind of animation with headplum express so i'm going to do the same animation inside davinci resolve so um you will need some files so uh, you'll need the icon search icon png and uh, your logo and the background image or a video as well so i have already imported it inside the media pool go to the project settings and make sure your timeline frame rate is set to 30 or 60 whatever you want to set it to and click on save right click in the media pool create a new fusion composition set the duration to 10 seconds and click on create drag your fusion composition onto the timeline and then just click on it and just go to the fusion tab let's start creating our animation okay so the first thing we'll create is that bar the search bar so I'm going to drag in the background node and uh, to view this you can just drag this on to the left or the right viewer and I'm going to click on this icon that says single viewer let's click on that and let's just make some room over here and now the background color is set to black by default and we're going to change that in the inspector right over here so I'm going to set this to a blue now let's make it even darker that's like that and um, I'm going to resize this so click on this background tool background one node shift spacebar and type in XF to get the transform click on add let's view this transform node drag it onto the viewer and uncheck this use size and aspect now you'll be able to control the X and the Y size independently so I can just set this to 0 0.9 and this one to 0 0.16 so try to get this square shape so i'm going to animate this thing now this shape and uh, i'm going to go forward to 30th frame create a keyframe on x and y go back to the very first frame set the x to 0 and y to 0 we'll have this basic animation and from 30th frame to let's go to 70th frame i'm going to increase the x size so i'm going to increase the width and we'll have this kind of animation i'm um, sorry about my voice my throat is dry right now so but anyways now drag in i drag and drop the search icon so i'm going to go to media pool and search for the search icon i got this from icons 8 uh, you can get free icons from that website it's a really nice website you can just search for any icon uh, they have over there so I'm going to drag and drop it and uh, merge this two together. Let's view this merge node and we have something like this. Let's make some room over here and uh, we need to do two things. First, we need to change the size of this search icon and we also want to change the color of this search icon. Now let's uh, reduce the size so I can do that by going to this merge one and we have the size over here. Let's just reduce the size, something like that. And then to change the color, we need to add in a background node to this media in. So click on this media in, shift spacebar, and type in BG for background. Click on add. Now you'll get this merge tool, and you can click on this merge tool, set the operator to in. And now you can go to the background tool, and you can just pick any color from this window. I'm going to set this to white, and we'll also animate this icon, search icon. So I'm going to go to 30th frame. I'm going to create a keyframe and I'm going to create a keyframe on this merge one. Um, so I'm going to create a keyframe on center X and Y and go to 70th frame and change the position and move it to the right. All right, so far so good. And now what we want to do is we need to uh, type in our text. So we can just drag in our text tool and we can just connect that up with this merge one. It will result in this merge three. So you can view this merge three now select the text one tool and type in your text or your search query and i'm going to align this text to the left so in the horizontal anchor i'm going to set this to left and decrease the size as well i'm going to place it on the left side of this search bar all right so now we the reason we set this to left anchor is now if you want to add some more text um, this will just add your text to the right side and it will not change the position um, if we set this to like if you set the anchor to in the center and if we change your text or 
add something it will just going to the right and to the left as well we don't want that so that's why I'm gonna set this to left now you can change the font size and uh, font style right inside uh, the options here so I'm gonna keep it this to open sans for now and then we need to animate this thing as well so let's go to the 70th frame create a keyframe on right on set this to zero and let's move forward to let's say 110 frames and set the right on to one all right so we have something like this okay so what i also want to fix is this thing over here so you can see the search icon is visible from the very first frame i want it to be visible only inside this shape so it's pretty easy so we can just select the merge over here and set the operator to a top and uh, there we have it now what we want to do is create a little click animation so for that we will add in a transform node after this merge so shift spacebar xf click on add and let's view this transform node over here so we'll create click animation at 110th frame so create a keyframe there on size move forward to 115th frame set the size to 0 0.9 move five frames forward and set this back to one all right so we'll have this kind of animation which will re represent your click or enter all right so after this we will add our background the white background behind this so i'm going to drag in the background node and connect it up with this transform we have this merge for select your background tool and set the color to white now the background is coming in to this merge as a foreground we want to come we need to make sure that this comes in as a background so click on this merge 4 hit ctrl t and that will basically swap the foreground with the background and <clears throat> what i also want to do is after this transform node let's add in another node called drop shadow click on add and we can see the drop shadow here i'm going to set the drop angle to 90 and uh, let's reduce the shadow strength and drop distance as well so something like that all right so now after this click animation is done we need to create a transition to our background or to a background image or a video and for that we will need our media so go to media pool uh, drag in your background which can be an image or a video connect it up with this merge 4 if we take a look at this merge 5 you'll see your image and we need to animate this so this media in i'm going to add a ellipse mask to this let's move it on the left and i'm going to go to the 120th frame create a i'm going to animate the width and the height so i don't want to animate it separately i want these to be linked together so i'm going to right click on the width expression and connect it up with height and i can create a keyframe on height or i can just control height which will also control the width as well so i'm going to create a keyframe there on height set the height to zero and let's move forward to let's say 170 and increase the height to until you see the entire background go to media pool and drag and drop our in our logo i'm going to use this youtube logo but you can use your own custom logo connect it up with this merge 5 take a look at this merge 6 and we need to do the same thing with media in we need to add in an ellipse mask to this move it over here and uh, same at 120th frame create a keyframe let's connect this up create a keyframe on height set this to zero and uh, let's go to 150th frame and increase the size Okay, and if your logo is too big, you can control that. Uh, if you click on this merge six, you can just reduce the size. Finally, we can just drag in our text plus node, connect it up with this merge six. First of all, let's just drag in the merge seven onto the viewer, and let's select the text tool and type in our channel name. Let's just bring this down like this, reduce the size 
and just you can do all sorts of things with this text you can add a follower text scramble anything that you want i'm going to keep it simple i'm just going to just um animate the right on so let's just go to let's say let's uh, go to 140 and i'm going to create a keyframe on right on set this to zero move forward to 170 and increase the right on to one so we'll have a typing animation as well and finally what we can do is on this media in background we can add in a transform node to uh, scale to animate the scale of this image or we can just animate the merge itself so i can create a keyframe on size let's do that on 120th frame create a keyframe i hope this doesn't crash create a keyframe on size go to the very end and increase the size so we'll have this animation going on all right so now we need to all you have to do is just adjust the splines on these keyframes so select transform one go to spline and um, you can select these two options um, let's just select the free, the first one the x size click on this icon that says zoom to fit uh, we have three keyframes here so i'm going to select these first two hit s on the keyboard to smooth that out hit t on the keyboard to get the ease in and ease out values and i'm going to smooth this last one as well hit s and on this one i'm going to just ease that into 100 and this one as well let's just change the way this curve looks and keep keep a straight line like that and on this one we need the ease in to be 100 okay and in this one is out to be 33 which is like the default value all right so there we have it and then we can now select the y size select these two keyframes hit s on the keyboard and just increase the ease in amount okay now let's select another keyframe on this merge we have a keyframe go to spline select these two keyframes hit select all s to smooth that out and ease it in so you can just increase the ease in value exit out of the spline and then we have a keyframe on text one as well so i'm going to go to spline and uh, select the end click on zoom to fit click on select all hit s on the keyboard or you can also click on this icon that says smooth and just ease that in transform two so we'll just ease that in as well go to spline size select all the keyframes and actually let's just this is a click animation so you can smooth that in but i kind of like the linear animation in this so i'm going to keep it as it is and then we have the merge five and the ellipse over here let's just go with the ellipse first and go to spline we have the height here let's click on zoom to fit select all the keyframes hit s and then ease that in we have the merge and this is just a simple zoom animation or the scale animation we don't want to do anything with that we have ellipse 2 here let's keyframe let's make that smooth as well select all the keyframes hit s and then ease that in then we have text 2 we can ease that in as well but it's not necessary so we can just let's just do that all right so that should be it so i'm going to turn off high quality and motion blur we have to play around with uh, the keyframe here the ellipse 2 over here you can see that it's not i want it to be same size as this one try to match it up i'm going to go to spline and uh, adjust the spline over here so let's try to move the this keyframe forward and i'm going to be something like that that's almost there so maybe let's do that yeah that looks fine so try playing with the keyframes until you get the desired look so so yeah i think that's just it about it then finally we can just connect it with the the media out like that and go back to your edit page you will have your animation here and if you feel like your animation is too slow you can turn your fusion composition into a compound clip and then you can right click on it and click on change clip speed and you can increase the speed over here
So that's just about it. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.